waiting on delivery of 54 Top Pig Z-Line gilts. We're bringing these girls in in an effort to do a soft relaunch or restart of our genetics that we currently have. Our original herd was donated 20 years ago when the facility was built. It's time for some new genetics, some new blood, so that way we are able to keep up with the teaching and research demand here at UC Davis. These girls will stay at this facility for two months where we will do some health testing both here and at our main sow farm on campus to make sure that everybody all around is healthy before we bring in our new little ladies. These girls will then be integrated slowly into the herd so that that way we are able to continue our breeding program and keep up with all teaching and research demands. Right now we're in sort of a little bit of a quasi-quarantine situation um, where they're away from the rest of the, of the herd. And now that they're officially at the swine facility here at UC Davis, we will keep them quarantined in order to be able to do some more uh, health checks now that they're here. We will then begin heat checking, which is using an intact male or a boar to stimulate or be able to catch a female in estrus so that we are able to artificially inseminate and hopefully be able to do a pregnancy test 30 days after that and confirm that she's pregnant. And then three months, three weeks, and three days, or 115 days, which is a pig's gestation length, hopefully we have brand new top pig babies on the ground in our farrowing room.